Did you know Jay-Z was one of the top recruiters for the Illuminati? You already know Jay-Z is one of the most respected artists of our time, so that's why he recruits for the Illuminati. Jay-Z has so much influence on our society, and that's why he has so much power. If you didn't already know, this is the Illuminati Eye of Providence. You can see Jay-Z doing it with Kanye here, which means he recruited Kanye. He also recruited Chris Paul, LeBron James. And even his own wife, Beyonce, you can see her doing it at her own concert. Let, let's be clear, when you see this, 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 when you see the checkerboards on the floor, it's a scene where it's checkerboards. This is, these are all occult, Satanist, symbolic symbols. So, 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 what I'm saying is, is, and I'm gonna tell you why, I don't, and me personally, I've been in music for a minute, so when I see Jay-Z, what- There have been numerous theories on social media throughout the years concerning top performers in the entertainment business being part of an elite occult club. Nevertheless, it appears that those tales are more than just theories, as one of those elites has now decided to spill the beans on them. And you got it, it's Kanite. But what's more, unlike in the past, the rapper's remarks are supported by actual proof, evidence that everyone appears to have access to but is missing the point. At least, that's the picture the Grammy-winning rapper painted, and it's far from complete. Do you want to see these facts for yourself? Then stay around because I guarantee your mind will be blown even further. Kanye West has been effectively blacklisted in the music industry for some time now after saying some awful things. And while you think that, combined with him losing more than half of his net worth in a matter of days, he'd shut talking, you'd be mistaken. In fact, you could say he's more determined than ever to expose the wickedness in Hollywood, and he's decided to start with a former friend. Anybody who knows anything about hip-hop knows that Jay-Z and Kanye West are two of the best rappers of all time, and the two have a long history together. They've released multiple songs and even an album or two as a duo, so it's safe to say they've spent a lot of time together. This is why Kanye's admission that his longtime pal had been a member of the same occult group that has been the subject of numerous conversations for years was such a big issue. If this admission had come from any random person, it would be laughable. The difference with Kanye is that he was once a part of them, which is what prompted him to expose his former close friend. Kanye backed up his assertions by revealing that many of the signs thrown up or displayed in several of their videos were definitely occult signs. Nevertheless, unlike him, who never really exhibited them in his videos, JC has made it a point to reveal them in almost every music video he's done. Experts on the matter have also argued that Illuminati puppets tend to evoke a handful of repeated positions and motifs, such as the Eye of Horus, the Egyptian symbol for the all-seeing eye. Let, let's be clear, when you see this, 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 when you see the checkerboards on the floor, it's a scene where it's checkerboards. This is, these are all occult Satanist symbolic symbols. So, so, so what I'm saying is, is, and I'm gonna tell you why I don't, and me personally, I've been in music for a minute. So when I see Jay-Z, what? Another popular symbol is the pyramid. Its three sides represent the spiritual realm in Gematria and a Syro-Babylonian Greek code related to Judaism. A sign Jay-Z has repeatedly displayed as his distinctive rock sign over the years, which he claims is a diamond produced with your hands, although it could just be a convenient explanation. As mind-boggling as it is that Kanye came out about his pal being a member of what is recognized as the world's largest cult organization, the rapper has also name-dropped several other major names in the entertainment industry. Kanye West called out musicians who he says are currently under control by unnamed authorities in what appeared to be a random outburst to the paparazzi a couple of nights ago. They can't control me, you know what I'm saying, West begins. They can control Shaq, they can control Charles Barkley, they can control Lebron James. The rapper didn't stop there with the name-dropping, he also mentioned Jay-Z and his wife, Beyonce, as being part of this organization. Moreover, unlike many of the others he cited, Beyonce and Jay-Z have been on the radar of conspiracy theorists for quite some time regarding their involvement with other powers. According to sources, Queen Bey's connection to the Illuminati derives from her marriage to Jay-Z, who has been affiliated with the powerful secret society since the late 1990s. As Hover rose to fame with a string of platinum albums, beginning with Reasonable Doubt in 1996 and spanning in my lifetime and life and times the best Carter, theorists began to speculate that the music mogul's powers extended beyond mere talent and bravado. In the eyes of many at the time, JC was actually a member of the cult group, which was thought to be an exclusive group made up of the intellectual and political elite, which literally runs the world. Therefore, hinting that their reach is much broader than only the entertainment sector. In addition to their beginnings, the characteristic hand sign for Jay-Z's Rock Nation entails raising both palms up in a triangular arrangement, thought to be a tribute to the triangle symbol that denotes their occultism, and it becomes evident why so many people see signs of the couple's membership everywhere. 
Beyonce's amazing 2013 Super Bowl performance, for example, gave many conspiracy theorists whiplash when she flashed the Rock Nation hand symbol at halftime. A move conspiracy theorists alluded to as proof of her Illuminati loyalty. There have also been indications of Beyonce's double existence as the queen of the group in her music videos, which are usually loaded with symbolism. Her Grammy-nominated, but not winning, 2008 music video for single women has piqued the imagination of many, with some suggesting that messages may be heard when the song is played backward. The internet even connects Beyonce's ascent to stardom to R&B artist Aaliyah's untimely murder in 2001, with some stating that Aaliyah was assassinated because she wanted to break free from the Illuminati's influence. According to that story, Aaliyah was supposed to be the legitimate queen of the music industry, but after her death, Beyoncé took her place. Most people are undoubtedly skeptical about this story, and considering Kanye's history of mental health concerns, it's understandable. But, worries regarding Beyoncé's ostensibly occultic side had already been raised. Kimberly Thompson, Beyoncé's former drummer, accused the singer of severe witchcraft back in 2018. Thompson worked as Beyoncé's drummer for seven years and is now seeking a restraining order against her former boss, alleging that she is involved in dark magic and magic spells of molestation. According to The Blast, which claims to have access to court documents detailing Thompson's reasoning for the restraining order, the particular form of witchcraft or rituals that Queen Bey is said to practice is unknown. Thompson, on the other hand, believes the singer was employing severe witchcraft, casting charms to tap her phone and control her funds in order to keep the drummer under surveillance. These measures are reportedly part of Beyoncé's harassment campaign against Thompson. And now, four years later, a celebrity who has known and spent time with Queen Bee and her husband has said something similar. Coincidence? It appears unlikely. The troubled hip-hop mogul then dropped a notion about persons going missing in Hollywood a few days ago. According to West, his mother was one of the victims, along with Michael Jordan's father, Dr. Dre's kid, and Bill Cosby's son. My mama was sacrificed, West said, in Hollywood. A lot of people come up missing. It feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control and traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. Kanye was all over the place with his recent outburst here, which has pretty much become on brand for him at this point. But, it is also feasible that we are not on the same intellectual level as he is and hence cannot fully comprehend his message. West concluded his outburst by declaring that his capacity to tell his truth is due to the fact that he has never murdered anyone. Considering this in the same perspective of Beyoncé's former drummer requiring a restraining order after accusing the singer of witchcraft, it appears like Kanye is up to something with this claim. And, given that he is the only one who has come forward with this narrative and has stuck with it despite having personal relationships with practically all of the persons involved, he just might be right. The whole affair has sparked a lot of debate on social media, with some fans convinced that Jay-Z and possibly Kanye are part of the group. One of these users wrote, Like I'm sorry, but Kanye and Jay-Z are Illuminati. They even claim that shit. It's in plain sight. Stop being ignorant Kanye and Jay fans. More individuals appear to be persuaded, which sends a message in and of itself, but I'll leave you to figure out what it is. That concludes this video. Farewell.